My name is Hayden Bliss and I'm part of the sales team here at Biomark. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our senior fisheries biologist, Scott McCutcheon. Scott is going to talk a little bit about our preloaded needle tray system and then move into a short tagging tutorial. We hope you enjoy this video and we hope that it gives you some helpful hints for your next tagging project. Should you have any questions about our Biomark products or tagging technique in general, please feel free to call us at Biomark at 208-275 Zero, zero, one, one. Before we get started with the actual tagging operation, there's a few things I'd like to go over and discuss with you to make your job a little easier. Uh, first of all, the, the needles are shipped in a 100 pack of preloaded needles. Uh, the tray has a tray cover that can be removed and the uh, there's a, a label that has the the uh, lot number on it the tags are all aligned with a tab facing the same direction this is done so that all the bevels of the needle are facing the same direction the reason we do this is so that when you extract the needle from the tray, the bevel will be facing in the proper direction to tag your fish. Uh, for example here, we would, we would tag the fish and have the bevel facing towards the fish. We, we use an optional uh, tray holder. The tray can be held with your hand or simply placed in the tray holder to hold the the, uh, the needles in place while you pull them from their from the uh, tray holder. Now the reason we align the tabs in a in a single direction is to uh, accommodate for left-handedness versus right-handedness. Uh, a left-handed person would extract the needle from the tray uh, so that the bevel is always in the same direction for tagging with the fish held in the right hand. Now for a right-handed person that would rotate the tray 180 degrees and the needle would be extracted so that the bevel is facing toward the fish. What we do is tag fish with a, a double tray anesthetic system so we put fish in this this tray and uh, pre-anesthetize them. Once they're, once they're in about stage one of anesthesia where they're just slightly rolling over, we begin our tagging. We don't like to over anesthetize our fish. Our feeling is that double or anesthetic kills about as many fish as people incorrectly tagging. And I'm not going to take it out now. No. Well, you want to have enough fish in your net so that you can tag them out in about three to five minutes. We use an MK25 implanter with preloaded needles. The MK25 has a push rod built into it, which is the function with this the, the main trigger. The uh, preloaded needle has several parts, uh, one being the tag, uh, an internal push rod, and uh, the and then the ejection trigger will eject the tag. So the process would be to take a fish, use these fingers to implant the tag, and this trigger to eject the, the, the needle from, from the gun. I want to stress how we hold a fish. We, I have my finger here holding the head. I don't want to keep him out of the water too long. This finger is bracing right about at the point where I tag the fish. My two fingers 
down here are holding the tail so the fish won't slide backwards. So controlling the fish and not letting it slide your hand is very important. Uh, we use a lot of pressure points. I try to keep my, my, my gun here and it takes very little pressure with a sharp needle. Very important to have this contact because then you have control. If you're out here tagging, it's real easy to push too hard and deep, tag deep where this, um, keeping control of your needle edge and a lot of pressure points, uh, finger pushing, you, you get a lot of, a uh, lot more control of the entry wound and how deep it goes. So then my needle is injected just behind the pectoral fin, about at the color change of the, at the bottom of the base of the rib cage. The, the tag uh, is injected inside the peritoneal cavity. We, we try to get the, the, the needle as parallel to the body axis as we possibly can. That way the tag will lay up in this area between the tag entry wound and the pelvic pelvic fin. We like to get the tag as close to the body wall as possible so that the the tag will ride up against the body wall rather than going down into the uh, the vital organs. A real steep angle would push the tag directly into the kidneys and possibly through the spleen, but uh, to level it out, the tag will ride right above the stomach and above the intestine. We don't want to tag too far back. If we do, you can see that the, the body starts to taper and your vent is right here, so the, the tag would definitely puncture the intestines. And I want, want to make a point here of the tag doesn't need to go, or the needle doesn't need to enter very deep into the body. You can see I'm only using about a, a millimeter of the needle tip. Another point would be uh, the bevel of this needle, where it's located is very important. I put it against the body, and what happens is the curvature of the needle helps hold the tag uh, in place so, so when you're ejecting or implanting the tag, the tag is forced into the fish by the push rod and is held in place by the needle and just goes into a small entry hole. If we reverse that process, we, we end up with the needle tip, which is essentially a, a, it's very sharp on both sides and it becomes a, it goes real deep into the fish. And here's another problem. The tag will tend to scoot out over the top of the, of the wound, unless you put it in very deep and then you really risk injuring the fish. What we try to do is make a smallest hole as possible and let the tag go into the hole so that you do not have a, a large gaping wound that would allow the, the, uh, the tag to exit. The reason we try to tag up a little way so you can see I'm right here in this color cage, right at the rib cage, right at the tip of the fan. If you tag up here, the tag tends to fall out more readily because of the shape of internal shape of the body tag lays on these fish will end up laying right along the bottom of the fish. So it's less likely to come out if you put the wound a little bit higher up. But you can't go too far down because then you're really approaching, getting close to the, uh, the kidney of the fish.